Well, welcome back to the Gold Globe Report from inside the Jim Norick Arena here in Oklahoma City at the AQHA World Show. I'm going to introduce you to two of your newest world champions this evening, as well as the man who showed the very first AQHA Super Horse in 1978. We kick things off with your select trail world champion, Eye on the Ball and Lana Banks. I want to talk about this trail. Kind of a tough pattern. What did you think? Well, it was very intricate and it had a lot of special things that sometimes Tim doesn't do. He usually has his breakdown between obstacles and this time we had to lope right on through several of them. So it was, it was a nice course. I liked the course, but it was very challenging. Tell me about your horse. He's 16. His name is Eye on the Ball. We call him Beans. And he's had a nice long history of um, good success in the trail. He's a special soul. I've won a lot on him this year. I won the Congress with him. And this is just very special to be here and win this with him. Well, the AQHA Super Horse is the most prestigious award at the Farnham AQHA World Show. The title is awarded each year to the horse earning the most points in the show's open division competition. To qualify, horses must be entered and showing in three classes in three categories. The very first Super Horse Award came in 1978, and I caught up with Jim Brinkman, who showed Vicki Lee Pine to the very first AQHA Super Horse World title. I want you to take me back to that World Show and tell us a little bit about that great horse. She was a nice mare. She was a halter mare, more or less, and we showed a lot of halter horses at that time, and I was just a kid, and I wanted to rope, so I roped on my halter mare. If I remember right, she placed in both ends of the team roping, and then maybe was second halter. That was kind of enough to, to win the first super horse. Uh, we we kind of showed early in the week, and then I sat in the stands for about four days and watched uh, watched everybody just kind of not, not convert, and they gave it to us. You can't beat that. They call it the most prestigious award at the AQHA World Show. Obviously, it was the first time. Looking back, does it get cooler as you look back on it, or is it just pretty neat all around? Well, it, yeah, I mean, it's neat to be the first one, obviously. Uh, we didn't have the internet and all this stuff we have nowadays, and so everybody came to the horse shows, and uh, they were a lot, uh, probably just more numbers of people. And uh, so, yeah, it was, a, it was kind of a big deal got tougher every year after that. I mean, they, they got wise to it, the competitors did, and it started getting tougher to win. Thank you, and, and congratulations on that very first super horse and the super horses that came after that. Oh, well, appreciate it. They were good horses, and it's been a lot of fun. Well, over the years, we've noticed that our select exhibitors, they live to show. They battle cancer. They overcome hip replacements, heart attacks. But their horses keep them going and keep their select spirit alive. For Greg Davis, a serious battle with COVID nearly took him out of last year's World Show. This year, he explains how the virus really put things into perspective. I got COVID from my dad. My dad was 90, and he did pass away right after we got home from from the World Show last year, which, you know, he's my hero, but he's fine now, he's good. I still have a lot of oxygen problems, like walking, you know, back to our stalls, you know, and up here, I just am so winded still, and I, you know, I hope that gets better. And I, I asked you, I said, you know, you think it's, do you think it's COVID or if I'm just an old, fat, wore out guy? I mean, which is it, you know? teaches you a lot about life. Life is precious. Finally, back in the Jim Norick, we crowned your amateur showmanship world champion. It was Mallory Vro, and I'll be batting on a RV. Vro is also a past youth world champion in this event. Well, Mallory, I was coming to get your interview and your mom was actually running up the tunnel behind me in tears. This is an emotional win for your whole crew. You won as a youth, but this is your first amateur win. How are you feeling? I'm absolutely ecstatic right now for everyone in my group, not only myself and my horse, but my mom, my horse trainer, Blake Wise. Like, everyone has worked so hard to put this together. We got a late start this year and it's come together so fast. I'm so grateful. My mindset always going into the showmanship is not to try to beat anyone else, try to you know outscore anyone or anything. It's just do my job and it'll work out how it's supposed to. How does this gold globe feel as an amateur? I was starting to feel like a little bit of a has-been, I'm not going to lie. So it's really exciting to be back in that arena with people that I have idolized my entire life.
This has been your Gold Globe Report. I'm your host, Courtney Dehoff. I'm going to end my evening here in the Gold Globe Lounge above the Jim Norick Arena. We'll see you right back here tomorrow morning with more action from the AQHA World Show.